Um, legal expertise. This is important because there are things like the, we were just talking about the sign. You know, if you leave the signs out, you're not supposed to leave them out. Uh, you need to keep track of where they are so you can go retrieve them after the, after the time is up. Um, banner brigades. We had some legal questions about this just over the past week, both in Vancouver and Seattle. The police came along and started hassling the people here in, in the groups. And um, we had that happen in Oregon also. And uh, David Brownlow was going to be here tonight. I, I don't know if he's going to make it or not. But uh, he has an interesting story about what happened to him in Oregon uh, with respect to that. Uh, the, I'll just give you the brief bottom line is it turned out well for him, didn't turn out well for the cop. Here in Washington, you guys have different statutes, so it might be a different question. Uh, but definitely that's something that you want to look into. You want to make sure you know what the laws are that pertain to what you're doing. So it would be good to have somebody that doesn't mind pawing through all these legal statutes, you know, that make your eyes glaze over, and make sure that, that your group knows exactly what you can and can't do. Um, GOP liaison. Uh, I think this is pretty important. There's a lot of folks going for Ron Paul who are not Republicans or they just registered Republican. They don't think of themselves as a Republican. They haven't been involved in the GOP. Other people are, and they've been, you know, I've been in the GOP myself for over a decade. And so somebody who's in the party is going to think a little bit differently about the party than somebody who's not or who just wandered in. And so it'd be good to have folks who um, are already Republicans, have been for some time, who can establish some connections with uh, county chairs or state chairs or whoever it is to make sure that you have good communication and good relationships with uh, the GOP in your area to the maximum extent possible. Obviously, with a revolution going on, there might be some people who don't like that, but uh, some of them are, are really excited, and uh, I've, I've been happy to encounter some of those folks. The last one I'll mention, it might be a little controversial, election verification. And uh, this is an issue. Uh, for those who have studied it, you know that it is definitely an issue. And like Michael was talking about, we need a supermajority, and if we have that, then we don't really have to worry about it because nobody's going to believe that anybody else won. If all you see is wall-to-wall -wall Ron Paul t-shirts walking down the street every day, of course he's going to win. So that should be our goal, but at the same time, it would be good, in my view, to uh, get some public pressure going to say we want verified elections. We don't want these you know, back room things where we can't count the votes, we can't see them. We don't want that. But that's going to take a lot of public pressure. You can't just go in and fight people and say, we want it, and have them give it to you. It's going to take a lot of people. So we need to motivate people to uh, join us in that effort. That's my, my personal view on that last one, and, and your view may vary on that. But Anyway, those are the teams that I wish I had created in my group when I was starting out before I got to the point of having 35 or 40 people and you know trying to keep track of them all myself and do everything myself. And I've got lots of other thoughts, but that's all I prepared. And uh, I'd be happy to answer some questions later. And so if you've got any other questions about Meetup, 